Hi! Today I wanted to film a Snapchat q and I've done some in the past. I really enjoy getting the questions in video form. I am Books and Quills on Snapchat, in case you were wondering. I sent out a little request for questions this morning, so here we go! I'm gonna play them here and hopefully you'll be able to see them. Okay, let's get started with, of course, Rosanna. My question is, what sweater do you like to wear when you want to be the most comfortable? Thank you! Great question from Rosanna, always the first eager beaver. I'll go get it. It's not so much a sweater as it is a cardigan, but it's this one that I've worn in a video before, which is from the brand Vila. I bought it in the Netherlands and it is so, so cozy and basically just goes on top of whatever I'm wearing that day. Okay, next one is from Imagine Illusion. How can I give this motivation to continue Okay, so she asked about the motivation to read. People always think I read tons, and I probably don't read as much as you think I do, because I do find it hard to motivate myself to read sometimes. But for me, just having a book on me at all times is the best way to do it, because then whenever you have a free second, you're like, oh, I can just start reading now. Sometimes I'll just like hold it under my arm as I'm walking around, so that as soon as I get on the tube, I can open it and start reading. The next one is from Sandy D. Always love your videos. Did you ever consider working with something not book related? I know you love space and stuff, so. <laughs> um, yes, when I was in high school, I wasn't doing YouTube yet, and I mean, I wasn't even watching YouTube yet because it didn't exist yet. I'm so old. There were these career evenings where you sort of had to pick which careers you wanted to learn about, and I'm pretty sure I went to like the civil engineering one and the architect one. But thinking about it now, I probably would have ended up being like a graphic designer or something. I don't have the most amazing graphic design skills now, but it's something that I'm really interested in. And I just really like creating stuff. Next, from Lucy C. Carr. My questions are, if you could only reread one book for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh. And if you were gonna host a dinner party and can invite five fictional characters, who would you invite? So first, one book that I can reread. I'd probably want it to be like a big epic adventure, but like something with really beautiful writing that at the same time is like a little bit sad, but will also cheer me up. It's probably gonna be a toss up between a children's book or a classic. I think I would love to reread a book like Jane Eyre, for example, all the time. But then I have a couple of really old kids books that like are just so comforting. So there's the Dutch book Crusade in Jeans, which I love and I have reread a bajillion times and I could just read that over and over again. It would definitely be a book that is set in the past because those always end up being my favorite. And then if I could have a dinner party with five fictional characters, who would I invite? It's hard because a lot of the fictional characters I love wouldn't necessarily be like the most fun company. I'm gonna have to go with Hermione because I think she would just be quite an interesting person to have at the table. I need to get my Goodreads out for this. I kind of want Mark Watney there from The Martian, just for the lols. I don't know if I want to go for like quirky characters to have a really fun table, or if I just want to find some people that I'd get on with really well. I'm gonna think about this more and maybe I'll do a full video about it in the future. Let me know who you would invite to your five fictional person dinner party. The next one is from Every Chris. My question is which author is your favorite one? And also I love your videos and um, Chris is from Germany. Thank you, Germany. My favorite author of all time is the Dutch author Thea Beckman, just because she wrote so many books in so many different settings, so many different stories, but very often a great female character at the heart of it. Those books sort of shaped my taste and probably a lot of my world when I was younger. So she'll probably always stay one of the most important authors in my life. Next one is from Starcrossed Mill. Anna, it's Nana, and I have two questions. What book release are you most excited for at the moment? And if you could live in any city besides London or home, where would you live? Really good questions. Okay. So, book release, Isabel Greenberg from the Encyclopedia of Early Earth is bringing out a new graphic novel, and I can't remember the title, but I saw it on her blog, and I am really excited for that. And then if I could live in any other city, I love the US and I love visiting it as a tourist, but I don't know if I would want to live there. Looking at the sort of safety net the country has and the gun policy and stuff like that, I'm just not on board with it. I would probably really enjoy living in like a Scandinavian city, but I haven't visited enough of them yet to really say that. I don't like countries that are too hot. I could actually see myself living in Amsterdam. I would probably also quite enjoy living in Canada. Next is Alicia. Hi, I'm Alicia. My question is, what's your favorite video to film and why? I really like doing on-the-go stuff and travel stuff, which is usually the hardest to edit, but I just really enjoy going out and getting the nicest footage and doing a bit of vlogging on the go, so that's really good. And then I also quite enjoy videos that have like cutaway close-ups of stuff, which sounds really dumb, but it's really satisfying 
trying to edit. Okay, the next one is from Flora Hugh. What is the one book you would recommend over and over again? Probably The Virgin Suicides because it's such delicious, delicious writing and I think it's quite an accessible book and I think it works for a lot of different people. It's not a very long one, it's not like a difficult classic, so I think that's probably one. I don't think I've ever had this many Snapchat questions. Okay, next one is from Jesse C. Thompson. Your fashion sense is amazing, so I was wondering where you get most of your clothes. I don't know if you can see that, but there are really cute like clothing emojis. I get most of my clothing from H&M and Topshop and a little bit from Zara. And then there's a shop in the Netherlands that I love, which is called Vera Moda. There used to be one in London and then it went away. Ideally I'd like to find more sort of ethical companies to buy clothing from. So if you have any recommendations for the UK do let me know. Also my full strategy is like black and white, grey, navy, burgundy, floral and stripes. That's it. Alright next is from Emily APX. Hi, what's your favourite graphic novel and why is it your favourite? My favourite one is by an artist that I mentioned before which is Encyclopedia of Early Earth by Isabel Greenberg and it's my favourite for a bunch of different reasons. First of all it goes into mythology which is awesome. And secondly it really reminds me of the humour in Avatar The Last Airbender which seems very random but it's like a combination of that and Kate Beaton. It just sort of combines all the best things. Next is Feisty Pants. Hi Sana, I was wondering what tea do you like to drink when you read books? And or, what bath bomb do you like to use before or after you read? I really like tea pig tea. They do a peppermint and licorice one that I love. I also really like rooibos, which in Dutch is pronounced rooibos, and that's how it's also spelled in English, and it always confuses me. Although I really love Lush, and I do love using bath bombs, I don't take baths that often, probably like once a month. But my favorite ones are always the ones that make the bath sparkly. Okay, next there is Viva Luxury. Hey Sana, so I'm just wondering, would you ever go vegan? So this is something that I've been thinking about a lot. For now, I'm not going fully vegan, but I try to stay educated about the food industry. I also try and be better about the stuff that I buy when it comes to like clothing and accessories and stuff like that. Okay, and then finally there is Jiwunia. My question is, if you were on Disney Island and had only one book, oh no. which book would it be? I might actually bring Hatchet by Gary Paulson, which is about a boy who crashes into the Canadian forest and has to survive on his own, just, you know, just for the motivation. All right, that was the Snapchat Q&A. Thank you so much for sending in your questions. I always really enjoyed doing these and hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I'll talk to you guys later. Doei! Hello, me cool.